morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to In the Streets with Big Stone. I'm holding in my hand a very powerful book of poems. A very powerful, powerful book of poems. And this was written by Jennifer Gordon Sapperton. Now this book, Open Flames, was sent to me as a gift by Jennifer Gordon Sapperton. And I decided to read it and enjoy the masterful skill of words and poetic verses and so on and so forth. I want you to go out and get this book. This is a very powerful book. I'm going to read it, but I just want to read a little bit about the author, the person who actually wrote this book. As an African woman, I search to find meaning in a space that often does not embrace my differences. Through pain and anguish, I learn how to really love myself. This book of poems hopes to capture the attention of people around the world who have endured hardship in all forms, suffering and loss of work to make me a better person. The poems are my journey songs which influence the ways I see relationship and people. I've experienced abandonment and rejection from individuals that I love but gain power through accepting the things I'm not able to change. My poem reflects the ways in which I try to navigate my life in a world that is often unkind, unjust, and unfair. These poems were written in times when I fell under tremendous pressures in life. They reflect how I view the social, religious, and political structures in our world. I beg to see a world that demands equality for all. My poems encourage my brothers and sisters to know themselves because acceptance must first come from within. They touch painful memories that lingers as we seek justice and equality for our community. These poems also speak to the condition of love and its ability to heal the world. The joy of knowing oneself must always be followed by the ability to know what we've enjoyed in life and be ready to forgive those who trespass against us. Jennifer Gordon Sapperton, this is a very powerful, powerful lady. And I yearn all of you to go out and uh, purchase his books online. Uh, just so you can get the book will be in the description below. But I just want to read this particular uh, poem for you. As you can see, there's a Rastaman in there. And the title of this one is The Rastaman Song. I hope I can do this one justice, Renny. Do you remember what happened to the Rastaman? They were brutalized by the government and policemen, hunted at will, plunged to death of no true threat, rusted martyred by the crowns willing to puppet masters. Slave drivers trained well, stood in the place of the old plantation, called themselves heroes, Dignified murderers, and soaked in the blood of good men, yet called them the bearded black heart men. Rastafarians were masquerading in Carl Garden by colonial gangsmen. But Jararia kept on moving. The enemy got stuck in confusion. As the Rastaman ideology took root, they grew strong. Though the Rastafarians were wrong, they never gave in to vexation. The message of love spread worldwide in spite of the brutalization. And just men wanted the Rastaman gone, the glorious past, subtitle. But to Africa we look upon the hills of Sasamani, our story lies. The Rastaman demand a world free from injustice and equality. Celebrate Marcus Garvey, who remind us that Africa is for Africa. Peace to boys robbed us of our language and stole our inheritance. We are demanding reparation and opportunity for repatriation. The black family is moving towards solidarity to build our community. Back to Africa, brother. Back to Africa, sister. Back to Africa, my friend. This is powerful. Jennifer Gordon Sapperton. Let me tell you a little bit more, more about the author. She said, I was born in Kingston, Jamaica on January 30, 1967. I grew up with an aunt who adopted me when I was five years old. I never saw my biological mother again until I was 18 years old. 
I endured all tripping life, but I also remember the joy of childhood days. I always loved to read and write poetry as a child. I had great dreams for my life, even when the adults around me did not desire anything good for me. I migrated to Canada and earned an honors degree in sociology and a bachelor of education degree. I absolutely love children and enjoy spending time with them as they teach me about love, honesty, and forgiveness. I'm the mother of three daughters, Ashley, Amber, and Araya, and the wife of Desmond Sapperton. My family are the most important people in my life. I look forward to one day going to Africa to reconnect to my roots. This is powerful. Jenny Jenny Ren, as she's known on uh, YouTube, Jenny Jenny Ren, unedited. That's how she's known. She's a very, very, very good friend of mine. I really appreciate uh, reading just far from this book. But there's, there, 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 there are numbers of good poems in there uh, uh, that you can identify with. Um, this is a beautiful book. It's well placed. And um, it's, well, it's well put together, you know. Millennium Woman, Master of the Universe, Words, How Did I End Up Here? Irony, Siddiqua, Sojourner, Who Am I, Tomorrow, Offspring, Open Flame, Warrior Queens, No More, The Phoenix, Rasta Song, Scammerman, We African Broken, Mariba, Marimba, Real, uh, what you call it, uh, Real Friendship, Friend Enemies, Haters, Man, Back Off Judas, Man, this book goes on and on, God Within, I Strike the Rock, I Love Me, Who Is God, Willow Song, Kindness, Darkness, just to name a few, uh, the pictures, as you can see, are very, very startling. Uh, this book speaks about a millennium woman, uh, a transvestite that was transformed from the the body that she was trapped in as a as a, as, as a young boy, and this is what she looks like now. Um, this is a great book. I mean, you can go ahead, go out there, and remember, people are people. Everyone is a human being. Everyone have their own stories. And um, this book is just is just simply amazing, and I'm very honored for you to have selected me to actually get a copy of this book and to read it and to share it with the rest of the world. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful book. Ex Libris. I don't know what that means, but you can ask Jenny, Jenny, and you can ask her, and she'll explain all that to you. I just had this great opportunity of showcasing this book on my page. Go out and get it, Big Stone say. It nice. Yes, I am. Open Flames by Jennifer Gordon Sapperton.